Yeah, I'm 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 recording us now. Ah, okay. Yeah. We can start too. Yeah, we're going to talk about getting an interview for yeah. yourself. Information technology job interview questions. Uh, we start to the text as well. Okay. Yeah, you can start. This is uh your name is uh Elise. My name is Thor. We're going to start uh, our little class session here on information technology job interview questions. Yes. Can you start to read? Yeah, start to read. Uh, when you are interviewing for an information technology job, in addition to the standard interview questions, you will be asked during a job interview. You will able, we will be asked more focused, focused and specific technical questions about your education, skills, certifications, languages, and tools you have expertise in. Take a look at some of questions you can expect to hear du during your interview, along with strategies for how to conduct yourself so that you make a strong and positive impression on interviews. It's strategies. 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 Um, types of IT interview questions. During an in IT interview, you can expect to see questions that fall into three buckets. Questions about you. Hear the interviewee wants to get a sense of your work style and abilities. Question about your job and company. Your response to these questions can help you review if you if you will be a good fit with the company culture. Companies. Companies culture. Yeah. Technical questions. You answer will review your knowledge, problem solving strategies, and give you a sense of your your on the job performance and the, how you will approach tasks from a technical perspective. See examples of the types of questions we will, you will, you, you, is, you, 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 yeah, you, say, you, say you, and then you, ooh. 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 Yeah. You. And then put it together. You. You. Yeah. Put it together. Put it together. You. 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 Yeah, perfect. You get in these three categories. And questions about you and your technical skills. You present your background on your resume but interviewers want to dig into a bit more. Asking questions about previous job and work experience as well as how you would handle. Would, and would, have, would handle. Would, yeah. You would handle yeah. and have handled, handled. Handled, yeah, you had it right handled, the first time. Work related. Scenarios. Yeah. I'm, I'm working in my D. <laughs> we'll help interviewers get a sense of uh, what you'd be like as an employee. Yeah, good. Practice your responses to common questions about you and your technical abilities. Yeah. I, here I... I... I I have to try to answer this, these questions, you know? Uh, 
Okay, like, just remember our our last conversation when I was telling you that you basically, if you want to get a job, you have to lie because, yes. you know, most people have never got the job. You know, they've never had a job in their life. They're signing up for the very first time and they're always disregarded. They can never get that job. So if you want to get the job, you have to lie and say you already worked there at a different company. And like I was telling you before, just, you know, look up a company, do your homework and and whatever company that doesn't exist no more has quit or got yeah. shut down a year ago or two years ago say oh i work for this company i worked for this company for three years and did this and this but make sure you do your homework first so but these are yeah. the same same questions that we already talked about before but this is on yeah. the i i think about the, maybe i start to train the these dancers you know yeah so what interests you about this position this is let, let me ask you these questions yeah. okay. and then let's see which answers you give me so if yeah. i'm if i'm the uh uh manager and going to ask you these questions about getting a job so okay. what interests you about this position elise well, my I am interested about this position because that fit about my, my abilities and skills in technology, and because this is a great company, and I need to improve more this company <laughs> by my my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's say it a little bit better. You would say. You want to boost yourself, remember, to have confidence. Yeah. So you say, I, I want this position because I want to learn more and I'm a fast learner. So yeah. always, always give yourself uh, confidence after you're talking to, uh, um, after you relate to your sentence that you're going to say. Always give a, a, a boost, a boast about yourself so say i i'm a strong learner and i love learning and this position fits me very well because it's a position that never stops learning because you're going to be doing computer software so computer software never stops learning it's always yeah. advancing and advancing and advancing <clears throat> but they want to hear things like this from you because then they're going to relate to you that oh wow your ability is a very strong hold for a company as this because you want to learn more you want to achieve more and then you just relate that with the company you're going to apply with when they talk to you so you say like this basically i'm interested in this position because i'm a fast learner i'm a quick learner I also love to learn and this position never stops learning. I want to relate to this company and do my best for this position because I want to improve myself not only for this position but for other positions. You always want to talk more highly about something rather than just the simple quote of what they're asking you. And, re and remember, you can also give them a feedback too, because it's, you don't want to make it a, a uh, more like a, a business business matter. You want to make it like a friendship matter. You know, like uh, if, if you're asked the, after you get done talking to them, you should say, what, what position did you start out in this company? Mm -hmm. And then this is kind of breaks that barrier of a, like a friendship, you know, like, oh, wow, he's asking me about myself and and he's asking what position I started at. And then you can relate to this person and how they answer you. If they come to the company and they already started as a manager, then that means basically about two things. Either they know somebody <laughs> and they got that position or they been high classed up 
uh, they work for companies for a long time, but also you have to judge on how old is this person or how old does this person look? If they're a young person, you know, then they probably didn't work that many companies before. If they're a 50 year old person, then they probably worked many companies before. But at least yeah. when you ask these questions, you kind of begin to feel what kind of manager or the person that is giving you these questions, who they are. Because this is all about life. You have to figure out who this person is and how they react to things. Some people are yeah. far left. Some people are far right. And you don't want to upset them by you saying the wrong thing to them. So you have to figure out who this person is that you're talking to. No matter if it's in the, you getting a job or you're in at a bar talking and, and trying to figure out who this person is. Because if you say something wrong at the bar, <laughs> they might fight you and beat you up. <laughs> if you say something yeah. wrong at the job site, they just throw your resume out. So it's very important to understand who you who you are talking to. Understand? Yes. Okay. Makes, makes sense. So, uh, the, what cer certifications do you hold? Well, I'm hold a uh, PSM1 certification by uh, that certificates me I am a uh, scrum master. This, that's a position yeah, okay. of a, yeah, a suggestion. And I need to do any more certifications to improve my job and 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 the the company too. Because I, I need to always learn more and more because I'm a faster learning and I love to learn new things and improve myself and and the company yes okay so. better better answer yes good <laughs> but but like you can also when the manager is going to ask you these questions you can also relate not only to uh so-called cert, cert certificates you can relate to other things you can say something like well, first off, I have a master's degree from this college I graduated. You, mm -hmm. you can relate to other things other than a certificate because they want, mm -hmm. to, they want to hear this and also you're feeling out what kind of person you're talking to. But the, the, more, um, the more bold information you give to them, they are going to relate this to you getting a job. Does this make sense? Like if, 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 you, if you have a master's degree or you have a bachelor's degree, a lot of people don't think that degrees are certificates, but they are. They're a piece of paper that <laughs> has your name on it and it's, it's a certificate. But a lot of people yeah. in their mind, they think certificates is only for just one one principle of something like, oh, I studied uh, Apple software and I have the certificate for Apple software. But no, you should say, yeah. no, I graduated. In IT, in IT environment certification is like a, a oh, I see, bro, uh, a test that you, you do, you know? from the original companies that uh, makes the technology okay and they meet the certificate when you you do a test you know right i think is that that type of certification right but it makes sense because we can also add the uh, informations who is also relevant in, in this point here yeah. right and also uh, also you can mention a time frame of you can say uh like you if if somebody if if i had a uh a master's degree and i said oh okay i went to this college for four years or i mean i went sorry if if somebody if they ask you oh you know where did you go to college and you say okay i hold a master's degree from this college or you can say I hold a six-year master's degree from this college. 
So you can, you know, you're making, you're boasting yourself. You're making yeah. a bold statement saying, I don't just hold a master's degree. I hold a five-year master's degree, a six-year master's degree. So if you say something like cer certificate, you can say, I hold a 1,000-hour certificate for Apple software. I hold a three-year Apple software certificate. You understand? Yeah. This makes yourself more confident and also boost your resume because yeah. the managers are going to hear this. Yeah. Okay? Very nice. Okay. What do you do to maintain your technical certifications? Well, I'm trying to use all this this knowledge in day by day of of work and also also ever always study to maintain me up to date about this this knowledges and and not just for this knowledge about the certifications but also increase this 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 knowledge is about this area and and doing cor courses and and trainings to maintain me up to date about these technologies okay good Con continuous learning continuous learning is a what is it expression Con continuous learner Continuous. Like no i no, think that's brazil no. or portuguese yeah, Portuguese aprendizagem continua. <laughs> okay, yeah. but what do you think about my answer? <laughs> okay, so your answer is good, but it's still not confident, you know? Yeah. I feel like you don't have confident words to say. So the thing is is like if you if I ask the question or the manager asked the question, what do you do to maintain your technical certification? Remember I told you before that Many, many things to do with electronics has to do with fairs, events, convention centers. Mm. So you need to yeah. make sure you state this. Even if you don't go, you still need to say, oh, I go to the convention center in, you know, Sao Paulo or wherever and say once a year. I, I maintain my technical certifications by me studying every single day I study because no matter what in this world you have to study or you're going to get behind. I study every day probably minimum one hour every day extra on top of already my work courses. I go to fairs when they are happening. I go to the uh, the software events and I even join some classes once a month in my hometown that we uh, all the software engineer people get together and talk you see this is they when they hear this they're like oh wow you're really into studying you really uh, love to uh, maintain your technical certifications so you see you have to use you be bold about it and be confident and make sure yeah. you state about your, the fairs and the events and the convention centers because it's very important with um, electronics and computers and technology. They're all the time yeah. having these type of events all over the world. So you need to make sure. Or, and you can even say something like, uh, you know, you can boost yourself because remember, you have to do your homework. So, okay, I'm not into the electronical world that much, so I don't know that much about it. But I do know that they have these world fairs, right? They have like yeah. these world fairs, like in Japan or, or course, Hong yeah. Kong or some shit. So this is another thing that you can make a statement and say, my dream is to go to this fair, and then the manager understands you better because then they think like, wow, this guy really, his intent is to learn more. His dream is to go to the biggest electronic fair in the world. You understand? Yeah. Ma that makes sense? Yes, of, of course. A lot of sense. Okay. 
So, what automated build tools or processes have you used? Well, I'm used in I am, CI CD I am, I am using. Is using? Present tense. Yeah. Well, I'm using the pipelines of uh, GitLab, CI CD, and. What process have you used? And taking keys about the autom automat automated pipelines to deploy these this applications into production. Like in dif different technologies like uh, GitHub and GitLab and, and other platforms for that we can vest version it. I don't know how to, to, to do this. Okay. Uh, well, I, I will try it again. Uh, what automated builds to no so no i i understand what you're saying okay yeah. so let's it's a little technical this part yeah, yeah i but i understand what you're saying so yeah. to help you improve on this part when you're dealing with electronics or uh yeah with electronics you have to remember electronics is a is a wide variety of many things you have an apple software and you have android and you have chrome and you have safari and you have this and you have that and blah 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 okay so when you when you're discussing this with the manager you can also tell them that well first off i've used many building blocks of tools throughout my career not only with the Apple world, but with the Android world, and I know how to mastermind both of them. And then you can go on and talk about what you just were saying. Oh, I do this with this process and that. So just remember, like in the computer world, the, the manager would love to hear that you can work on both platforms because a lot of people don't know how. And again, even if you don't know how, lie about it. <laughs> because you once you get the job, you will figure it out how to do it or you're going to get fired. <laughs> but the the main the main point of you having a uh resume and you trying to get a job is that's the main point is you trying to get the job. <laughs> so you have to yeah. get the job first. Once you get the job, worry about other stuff after. So your main objective is to get that job. Whatever you have to do to get that job. So if you have to do a little bit of lying, then lie. Because you can always figure out stuff in the future. I told you this before. So you, you just make sure you're, you're building yourself up and building this company up that you're talking about. Make sense? makes sense yeah okay what development tools have you used well in my career i access uh, many development tools and different languages like php and node.js and i always try to learn new new development tools like uh, i'm interested to learn java and and python but almost, uh, almost the time I'm, I'm working by PHP and Node.js, but I always available to learn new, new tools. Right. Okay. So for this question, make sure for one that when you state the answer that they're not using that equipment or something. If they're using Java and you sit there and say, oh, I only know a little bit about Java then they're not going to hire you. So this again, you make sure you do your homework for the company that you're gonna work with. And regardless, you should never, <clears throat> you should never, you're declining, <clears throat> you're, you're declining yourself, you're, you're, don't have the confidence there. So don't say I worked a little bit in this platform. Just say, or don't say I would like to work in more. Don't 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 use these words, because for one, it's not confident, and for two, 
You're not boasting yourself. Remember, you have to boast yourself. Don't make yourself degrade. You want to upgrade. <laughs> okay? So, if you... It, you can say something like... Uh, again, like I was just telling you prior to this question. You can say, well, I've worked on many different platforms. I'm an expert at this platform. Okay? You mm -hmm. tell them... I'm an expert at this platform and other platforms I'm very good at handling and I'm always willing to learn. You understand? So you're not degrading yourself and you're not putting yourself down saying, oh, I only know a little bit. Mm, oh, yeah. Makes sense? Makes sense. Okay. So the next question is almost the same as the other three questions. So let's see if you'll answer a better, better way. Yeah. What development tools have you used? No, it's this the same. Oh, sorry. What languages have you programmed in? Well, I'm programmed in many la languages in my career, but I'm expected at at the. PHP and Node.js, and I also know about this another language like Python and Java. I'm very good, very very okay, much better. Good, two thumbs up. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. very good. Okay, I understand what you what you mean. So, what source control tools have you used? And and you, you kind of see these questions, they're almost repetitive. Yeah. Be the, re the reason why, because remember I told you before, if you're going to lie or don't know something about a company, do your homework. Because the managers will always ask these repetitive questions to see if you are lying, to see if you have confidence, to really see who you are as a person. So that's why many, like if you work at a restaurant, they're gonna ask you the same question and not only one manager, you're gonna go through another manager and they're gonna ask you the same exact questions too. They do this on purpose to see if you're lying, to see if you uh, uh, are, are telling the truth or, or how much confidence you have, to see how you act with one manager to as compared to another manager so yeah. this happens a lot so it's like yeah, in, it's common to do like a three or four interviews right do, right in different managers <clears throat> so if you if you are going to lie cover your lie tracks because like i said it's 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 very dumb for people not to lie trying to get a job. I'm sorry, but you cannot you cannot be a, okay if you're an expert at computer software, you're only going to be an expert on like one or maybe two softwares, but not the hundred of them that's out in the world. So you have to if you're going to work for a different company and never work for that software, you have to kind of manipulate your uh, scenario you have to manipulate your lies <laughs> to uh, you have to adjust to them so when you adjust to them you must do your homework okay you don't have to be an expert at something study a little bit to the technology you, to yeah to yeah. study a little bit of the technology because let's say you don't know nothing about something okay you study it for two or three days just read some things read some forums uh, read some blogs. Just to be able to answer this. Right, to be able to answer simple questions if the manager asks you something. You know, if, it, if, if they were going to say, oh, you're an expert at Java, and then they say, oh, what is uh, A plus B plus 1? What, what comes out with that? I, I don't know computer language, but I know it's something like that, you know, like A plus. Yes. <laughs> so they're going to ask you something simple, and you need to answer it. So yes. you don't have to remember the whole entire software, but you need to do your homework and understand the basics. Mm -hmm. That way you, when, if they do ask you at, uh, during the resume, 
your questionnaires that you're going to be able to answer the question. It's kind of quite crazy because <laughs> when you think about it in school, it's almost the same exact format. When you study for a test and then you take the test, the tests are very simple. Like literally, I remember going in school, they had a test and I remember you can scroll through like the book or something and find the answer like that very quickly. Cause it's like, it's not a technical answer. It's not a technical question. It's just, they're trying to see, did you really read anything about it? Makes yeah. sense? Makes sense, yeah. Okay. Well, we can jump to the this describe. I don't I don't understand fully this this question. Describe a time when you were able to improve upon the design that was originally su suggested. <clears throat> well, if they ask you what technical websites do you follow, and then. Uh, uh, yeah. maybe they're they're coming off of that question describe a time when you were able to improve upon the design that was originally suggested so um, they're they're probably trying to ask ah, you I, I understand the answer. Yeah. Uh, they need to know about us uh, in the past situation that I improved the the design, the original design become to me and I improved that, yeah? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Describe a time when you were able to improve uh, they, upon they the design that was originally the, uh, suggested. So basically, no, they're, they're, they're asking you a time in your life. Describe yeah. a time in your, I, I will break it down to you. Describe a time in your life when you were able to improve upon the original design that you uh, first handled, okay? So basically uh, in Java, uh, if you said, oh, I was working in Java in 2000, you know, 20 years ago, <laughs> uh, and then the design has changed remarkably since then, and I was part of that design team of making it change, something like this. Or I, I was working with Apple and I first started working with Apple on their Apple 8 phones and I have been working with them since Apple 8 and now it's Apple 14 and I've improved with this company since then, okay? And they're basically going to ask you, what did you do? Uh, you know, describe what, what, what was your, what did you improve on? What was your job title? Yeah, I, 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 I lived in a, a similar situation. He, he interviewed him in Brazil and I think I'm really bad at this because I can remember in the moment a situation like that, you know, but I, I think it, it's also a thing that I need to train because it really asks some things like that. They, here in Brazil, they, they, they ask me like, uh, what situation, what architecture of software you, you proud to, to, how I say that? Uh, Mm, to o o offer for the company like that, you know, what uh, what architecture that I, what projects that I create, then I'm feeling pro proud about that, you know. Then I, I'm like, don't be confused to answer that. Then I, 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 I feel that they don't like the, the answer, you know, for the face that they say, because I'm not confident to respond that. In the time I I've, like I I think and think and ah, I think that that is the you know <laughs> it's about you what you you say the confidence to answer questions like that is more is really important I think I need to to training situations like that how you say it, yeah just maybe I don't live. 
truly a situation like that, but I can. You can I, you can lie or you train. can fib a little bit, right? Just do your a little bit of homework on something. Yeah. Something and like um, but I, I think I try think to raise uh, uh, the, 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 well when a time that was suggested me to apply this this express framework but i suggest to do the company to use the nest js because they have a a better performance and respond to these requests way more faster what the improve the process and makes the user more happy because they they can access the the site very faster than than the other framework. Right, user friendly. Like yeah, very good. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, let's get off here, and I I, I come yeah, back the on. Time you was coming to the end. Yeah. We get off here, and I we come back on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then and then the next question is basically the same question. Describe yes. the most innovative change that you have initiated and what did you do to implicate this change? So it's it's basically the yeah. same question. Um so let's go to the next question. Given this problem, Problem is based upon job requirements. What solution would you provide? Explain your thought process. Do you understand this question? Yeah, I understand. Well, think about this problem. I I think the best solution is using a open source technology because we have the support of community in this in this technology and we can also uh, find the, a lot of information about this the solutions in the community in the web community and the performance of uh, the next js is very is very good and compares to another another no, I, I think I am lost the, the objective here. Give this problem. No, yeah, I will start you again. Well, I um, decided to use the next JS because the is an open source software. Then we have a lot of information and we can find easily answers about the technical problems and we also have a uh, flexibility to to improve solutions with uh, a lot of libraries that we can reuse. And in this specific problem, I think we need to to apply this this business rules in. I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> I think I'm lost. What? Okay. Yeah. This uh, something like this. I, I think I need to train in more this, this question. And this real question because it's like uh, you say they, they have uh, uh, exactly this this exact these questions to me in my last interview. <laughs> Yeah, some the some of these like some that. of these managers have no idea what they're talking about, and they just basically they look up something open on the and, and open <laughs> and paste something. Right? Yes, yeah. 
Yeah, because I worked in many jobs and I know a lot of managers that don't know shit. Like when you get there, it's like, how did you get this job? Like, what do you, are you <laughs> like? But anyways, um, yeah, it's just basically your with this with this uh, question is is uh, given this problem. The problem is what they're suggesting here is the based upon your job requirements. So if your job requirement is to work with Java, then uh, what is the problems that you run into with Java? And what kind of, how can you fix or provide a better solution to work with Java? I'm just giving this an yeah. example. And yeah. then it's, it's saying- Like my homework is to study good solutions to common problems, something like that, yeah? To be yeah. able to, to answer with confidence. It's like I-, I Right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can even, you can even use a, another scenario. You can say, I, I, I work on social media. You don't you don't have to say I'm on social media. You say I'm I work with social media about 1 hour every day to try to figure out how to the users are complaining or uh um they're either complaining or they're telling the good or the bad things about Twitter or whatever, Facebook. And you say I look at these um, problems and I try to figure it out and solve it with the JavaScript I'm working on. Something like this. Like this is user friendly. So you're, you're, you're taking the question out of context and putting it into a real life scenario. Mm, but yeah. managers want to hear this, you know? It's like if you worked at a restaurant and they say, uh, how, how do you problem solve your, uh, how, what, is, what is your job requirements to, to given a problem of, of a solution that you would provide? What, what do you think of this? Okay, if I said, if I said, well, I'm a cook, so at home I watch the cooking channel and I watch the best chefs in the world <clears throat> To learn how to cook more and a variety of things and how to smell things and taste things. So it's the same thing with the electronical world. When you're in the electronical world, you're always dealing with people. So you have to have the user friendly. You have to be on Twitter. You have to uh, see how people are are complaining about things. How people say, oh, this is a very good uh, a new feature. So it's good feedback. If somebody is in their office and they only concentrate on books and nothing else what's going on in the real world, then they're in the past times because no one writes a book and then <laughs> expects it to uh, come out the next day. <laughs> it's impossible. Books yeah. take a long time to write. They take a long time to edit and then they take a long time to sell. So many books is very old as to when you're in the electronical world, you have to be up to par. You have to be know what's going on right now. Yeah. So what better way is that is social media, uh, Reddit, you know, Reddit dot com uh, forums and blogs. And, um, you know, if people are writing something, you can read the date. Oh, this was uh, uh, this date and they talking about this feature and how their this company is improving because of these features and gadgets. And yeah, make sense. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. OK, yeah. so the next question is, how do you handle multiple deadlines? Well, I I prioritize the most important deadlines because to the business okay, and right. try to 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 do all the, the deadlines, but always prioritize the business interest. Okay, good. But again, try to 
boast yourself about something. You should say something like this and be kind of like a smart ass. You should say if 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 the manager was going to ask me, how do you handle multiple deadlines? The first answer I would say is, well, first off, I am never late for a deadline. Mm. You under something like that, you know, and then give your answer what you just get gave. Mm. Yeah. Makes sense, you know. You're boasting yourself. Makes, makes sense. Yes, yes. You're having the confidence. Yes, it's details that that make difference. Yes. Yeah, very, very big difference. If you if you just come into the workplace and you say, "How do you handle multiple deadlines?" and you just give this little answer like you just gave, they're just gonna be like, "Oh, okay." But if you say something like I said. And you say, well, first off, I'm never late on a deadline. I just want to make that clear. I make it my job to handle all my priorities at first, even if I have to get no sleep at night. <laughs> you know, make a little yeah. joke about it, you know. But it's yeah. it's uh it's like I said, you want to be kind of like a friend with the with the the interviewer, the manager. Don't be so serious. Don't be so uptight. You know, just act like you're at a bar drinking, and and somebody asks you the question like that. Just be like, ah, yeah, man, I'm I'm never late on my deadlines, and 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 I'm always working very late hours to prioritize all my work and put everything in order, and everyone loves me for it. Yeah, you know something like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Ask, ask. Uh, I mean, answer this next question and let's see what your answer will be. Describe, describe your work pace. Pace. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm a problem solver, and I, I, so problem solver. Yeah. Problem solver. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm a problem solver, and then I I like to to work uh, work hard, and I always I always deliver my 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 tasks in a, uh, on time weekly. Yeah, on time. On time and with quality. I always prioritizing the quality and the velocity to this. Okay. Very good answer. Yeah, better answer. Yes. Good. Good. Better answer. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I, I give you that one. How how do you keep current in this industry? Well, I'm uh, always up in, in in this news because I'm uh, going to the first and the the congress. I like. I really love to. To be in the community and ask forums and and try to try to make it uh, act, active in these communities, like uh, help helping other developers and also learning to the another another situation that happens for uh, any. Other developers and read the the news in the documentations and things like that. Very good. Go okay. Much better answer. Very good. Yeah. Just remember this: that when when you you know that they're going to ask you a repetitive question, but don't give a repetitive answer. This is a big no no. Okay, it's like it's like using the same word in the same sentence. You just don't do that. Okay, so make sure whatever you you have to be quick witted is what we say. Quick witted. You have to be smart. You have to be a fast learner and a, a very very fast thought process. You have to be you know a a a a, a, a fifty gigabyte memory storage base on like a computer. <laughs> But so just make sure that when because they're going to repetitively ask you the same question, but don't repetitively give the same answer. So just give enough 
answers. You know, maybe around three or four answers to each question. That way it gives you some leeway, some room to when they ask you another question that is pretty much the same, you can answer it in a different way. Okay? Yeah. Understand? Yes. Okay. Well, let, let's do the, the last because I, I need to help my wife with something here. Yeah, yeah. But it's also the time too. Yeah, you have a lot of you have a lot of questions here for sure. So this might be a yeah. two, three, four day uh, class, but it's fine. You know, I, I'm I'm trying to. We don't need to uh, go through all these questions yeah, and yeah. answers. You just it's need to understand. The, what I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, having the confidence and to boosting yourself every single answer you give. You don't just boost yourself on the first question and the last question. You boost yourself on every single sentence you say. And you don't only boast about yourself. You boast about the company that you're going to work with. You boast about your fellow co-workers. You boast about future events and future processes that might happen. You always want to boast about something. And at the same time, you want to be uh, not so serious. You want to kind of be like a friend. Yeah. You know, you, you want the manager to, you want the interviewer to like you. You don't want to just go in there and be all serious and, you know, and answer every single, well, this and that and this and that yeah. oh, and they want yeah. you to joke around move your hands a little and you know act like you're flying in the clouds you know <laughs> yeah. just be like i oh man uh if you say how, how do you keep current in this industry and you say oh man let me tell you how i keep uh current in this industry i am i Love the news, and I love electronical news, and I love futuristic uh, uh, events. So I love going to the fairs. Man, oh man, man, I went to this one fair one time, and it was incredible. You know, like you have like a story yeah. time with the people. Don't just yeah. directly answer a question. Be their friend. Tell a story. Uh, tell them how. Uh, and then you can also ask them a question. You can say, hey, did you ever go to this fair? Or you, you can ask them, well, where did you grow up? You know, and they say, oh, I grew up in San Francisco, California. And then, you know, you remember that there was a fair and you say, hey, man, did you ever go to this famous electronical robot fair there? And they'll be like, oh, I know what you're talking about. But no, I didn't make it, you know, but you are becoming their friend, you know. Yeah. With every Makes interviewer, sense. not just the first or the last one, with everyone, if there's 20 of them, you try to be, <laughs> make 20 new friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important. very important. Yeah, I, I write down on this, these tips. <laughs> to <train>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's okay to, for now. I, I will just ask this information and, and okay. try to... It's it's nice to uh, also then repetitive is is good to training my my confidence to respond and also yeah. the vocabulary you know because I think I don't uh, so confidence because I I really need to to think about uh, what word I need to to say but but this is just the practice will will improve yeah for sure. Language is always improvable. Yeah. There's always new words coming out every single day. <laughs> yeah. Especially in the electronical world. Now now yeah. everyone has went from <clears throat> expressing themselves into, you know, a hundred years ago, people used to express words that were a mile long, a kilometer long. Yeah. Now people are expressing their word with a little imogen. 
Oh, happy face. Yeah. Oh, sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, man, we went from this long, complex word <laughs> to this little icon. <laughs> We went from we went from our the stone we went back to the stone age. Yeah. <laughs> the stone age was all hieroglyphics of birds and animals and smiley oh, faces. <laughs> but okay. That was very nice though. Okay. And I let you know about the Friday to tomorrow. Maybe if you are maybe maybe I can go to English too. Yeah, I yeah. Will, I will I will see. Then I let you know tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you to all for your time and for the lesson It was very good and very valuable. Thank you, man. No Bye. problem. We talk again. Signing off Bye. there. <laughs> AKA yeah. Thor and Elise. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. All right. Ciao, man. How do I stop this uh, export? No. What the hell? Why do I stop this? What the f What the hell, man? Click the stop button in the menu bar. Yeah? Where? Hide, stop. Keep them dark, quit. Hell. Thank <laughs> you.